What's going on everyone? Kevin Durant being traded to the Boston Celtics seems like the best destination and landing spot currently. Boston could put together the best package. They have the pieces, the assets, the draft picks, everything that the Nets could need or want to acquire Kevin Durant. Also, Jason Tatum and Kevin Durant were working out yesterday and that caused a lot of rumors and a lot of speculation of like, oh, Kevin Durant's going to the Boston Celtics. Now, I did talk about that and I did say I don't really buy too much into that. You know, they've worked out together before, they're friends, it makes sense that they're going to work out together. I'll even link that video down in the description below if you want the full breakdown and story about them working out. But on top of that, there is some new breaking news in regards to Kevin Durant that kind of points like, okay, maybe there is something there. Maybe there was something to them working out and also him going to the Boston Celtics because that's a preferred destination for Kevin Durant. Again, they have the best package that they could put together and it looks like Kevin Durant may be going to Boston. And it's not because he was just working out with Jason Tatum. It's something else that is breaking. I mean, look at this. So breaking news per Simon Charles, uh, Kevin Durant has officially purchased a 13.6 million house in Boston via 35 Venture. Could he be traded to the Celtics? The house was formerly Buccaneers legend Tom Brady's house in Brookline, Massachusetts. So Kevin Durant just bought Tom Brady's house in Boston. So, or in Massachusetts, which is crazy because on top of the whole, oh, he was working out with Tatum and you know, Boston is the number one destination. Him buying this mega mansion in Massachusetts is a very interesting sign. Again, maybe it's unrelated. Maybe there's another reason. But these breadcrumbs are starting to really lay themselves out and really becoming suspicious. Why else would he buy this mansion for any other reason than if he was going to Boston? It's not like he goes to Boston regularly. It's not like he hangs out in Boston regularly. Like in an investment property, you're talking a $13.6 million home. Like how much more are you gonna get? Like, or what are you gonna buy the house and just sit on it? You're gonna rent it out? You got, do you have a buyer that's willing to give you maybe 20 million for it? Like, I just, I don't see a logical reason for him to buy this house unless there is a significant purpose and the only purpose that makes sense right now is that he's going to the Boston Celtics. So if he knows he's going to Boston, then it would make sense he would buy this house, right? And then maybe there is something to him and Tatum actually working out and actually playing together. Because the duo of, of Tatum and Durant would be fantastic, right? They would be arguably the best duo in the entire league. Good luck trying to stop these two. And they were just in the NBA Finals, the Boston Celtics. So I, I could imagine them getting back there. They'd still keep most of their team intact. Like even if they gave up Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, and like three firsts, you still have, you know, Robert Williams, Grant Williams, Derek White. You know, you still have Al Horford. You have, uh, you know, Brogdon. You have Gallo. I mean, this team is still eight to nine players deep. And you just upgraded... Uh, Brown into Kevin Durant, I mean, that's a great position to be in if you're the Boston Celtics. And Boston, based on reports, really believes that Kevin Durant is the upgrade to take them over the top, that they are a Kevin Durant away from winning the NBA Finals. This could also correlate to LeBron James signing his max extension. Now, you might be thinking, well, how does that correlate? Well, LeBron James had all the time in the world to sign this extension, right? He could have signed it as back when it first became eligible on the 4th. He could have signed it after the meeting that they had that conversation in the dialogue and it supposedly went great. Or he could have waited out and gave them flexibility for the future, right? They could have, they could, he could have done one plus one deals, which the match extension is a one plus one, but he could have just waited, signed in the offseason. Or he could have signed, you know, at any point. There's no deadline until June of next year for him to sign that extension. He signed that extension today, which tells me that there's a reason to that. LeBron is very calculated and knows how this works. He's not just go going to sign the extension just to sign the extension. There's going to be a reason and purpose for it. Because again, why didn't he sign the extension after the meeting? As far as we know, they haven't had any meetings since. Nothing has happened since. But if LeBron knows that Kevin Durant is getting traded, right? And the Lakers organization knows Kevin Durant's trade is coming up. He's going to Boston which means Kyrie's going to be traded. He's coming to the Lakers. Well, then there you go. 
That means, guess what? LeBron is going to sign the extension because they're going to trade for Kyrie Irving and they'll have Kyrie Irving's bird rights and all that stuff. So now you don't have to worry about cap flexibility next season because you have Kyrie Irving now. You don't have to worry about keeping the cap preserved so you can sign him next season. So it makes a ton of sense that if Kevin Durant goes to Boston, well, that was they, if they know. Again, it's not public yet, but that doesn't mean that GMs and LeBron doesn't know about it. Kyrie could have told him and said, hey, dude, Kevin Durant's getting traded. He's gone. Uh, he's, you know, it's coming in the next coming days or whatever. Uh, you know, just so you know, tell the Lakers to get on it. Trade me. I need, we need, we need to team up, you know, and now Kevin Durant, he's buying a house in Massachusetts. You know, he's working out with Tatum. I don't know. It's just like when one, one coincidence, okay, coincidence, two coincidences, Okay, that's a little suspicious. But once you start getting three, four, five, six, seven coincidences, it, it's it become it doesn't become a coincidence anymore. It becomes like there is something here. Now, again, this could be something completely unrelated. Maybe there's another reason he bought a house in Boston or in Massachusetts, you know, and he bought Tom Brady's house specifically. Maybe they had something. But Tom Brady almost convinced Kevin Durant to come to Boston in 2016. Kevin Durant himself even said, Tom Brady almost convinced me. Like we had a meeting, he sat down, talked to Tom, and Tom had him convinced that he was signing back in Boston back in 2016. And then he ultimately, you know, we know what ended up happening. But uh, that's the thing. I mean, seriously, think about it. You have, you have Tom Brady who almost convinced Kevin Durant to sign in Boston before, telling Kevin Durant, dude, come to Boston. I'll sell you my house, man. You can live in my house. My house is great. You'll love it. You know, I'll give you a good deal on the house. Like, you know, come out here, do that. Boston will trade for you. Boston loves you. Again, all these little coincidences, all these little breadcrumbs. It just, it's, it's interesting. Uh, you know, I, maybe, maybe I'm connecting a bunch of dots that, you know, it's not that the dots aren't there. The dots are there. You know, Tom Brady convincing, trying to convince Kevin Durant to come to Boston back in 2016, trying to convince him to come to Boston this time. He sells Kevin Durant his house. Kevin Durant's playing with uh, Jason Tatum. Kevin Durant wants to go to Boston. He told the Nets that I'm willing to go to Boston. Boston has the best trade package, and you, which you could get Jalen Brown. Again, all of the writing's on the wall. I mean, it's, it's just, you know, again, maybe there's nothing there. Maybe it doesn't happen, but it's just... That's a lot of coincidences, in my opinion. And I try to keep a level perspective. I try not to buy too much into this stuff. But again, when you have five, six, seven, eight dominoes all seeming to fall and all pointing and arrows pointing to this potentially happening, it's kind of hard to not go down that rabbit hole. It's kind of hard to go, okay, yeah, there's nothing here. You know, Tom Brady. It's his house in Boston. Like, yeah, Kevin Durant, he bought a house in Boston because he loves Boston. He goes to Boston every weekend. Like, no, he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't go to Boston. Like, that's not, like, it's not something he does regularly. You know, and maybe it is a business investment. Maybe it is. Maybe there is a reason. Maybe they have a buyer lined up or something like that. That's a possibility. And I don't want to completely rule it out. But I just think it's weird. I just think out of, like, all the places he could have bought a house, he bought a house, he bought Tom Brady's house, in Boston, again, according to the Simon, uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. I, again, it just, it's definitely sus. If, if, if anything else, it's suspicious for sure. Um, you know, there were the the reports that Kyrie bought a house in LA, but that makes a little more sense. He's in LA all the time. Okay, I can understand that. You know, back when I made a video about him buying the house, I even said, you know, I don't put too much into that because he's in LA all the time. Like, yeah, is the timing a little weird? Is the timing a little suspicious? Yeah, it is. It's a little weird. It's a little suspicious. But Kyrie's in L.A. regularly. He's in L.A. right now. He's been there for months, right? And he went back to, and now he's back in uh, in Brooklyn. But, you know, he was there for months at that time. So I was like, you know, worst case, it is a little just odd that he bought a house at the time that this, this whole thing happened. But now you're talking Kevin Durant. He's not in Boston all the time. He does not like he frequently, you know, visits Boston and just like loves to hang out in Boston. Like, you know, it's not like he's staying extended trips in Boston. He's usually in L.A. or New York or, you know, Florida. We've seen him in on several occasions, stuff like that. It's like, I, I don't know. It's just the timing, the the fact that it's Tom Brady's house and not just some random house, this, that, and the other. Like, I don't know. It's just very suspicious. But those are my thoughts and opinions. And as always, I pass the question on to you. Let me know yours down in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you think this is something here? Do you think it's nothing? Do you think like, hey, look, 
They might be nothing, but it's really suspicious. You know, whatever, whatever it is, it's just odd that he would buy a house in Massachusetts. Or do you think like, no, it's just, there's got to be another reason. There's got to be another purpose. Uh, you know, again, however you feel about it, love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. One last little shameless plug is I did start As It Stands Lakers. Uh, it is a channel just like this, uh, dedicated to only the Lakers, because the Lakers are my favorite team. And on this channel, As It Stands, I talk about all teams, all sports, stuff like that. We have football season coming up, so I'm definitely looking forward to that as well. And I just wanted to make a dedicated channel to the Lakers to give the ins and outs. Now, all the big stuff, all the big news and stuff, I will still post here on this channel. Um, but if you want all the ins and outs and just rumors and theories and just discussions just strictly on the Lakers, uh, link down in the description or in the comment section. Go check out the channel. Subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.